Hi students, in this video we will discuss about left recursion. Right, we will discuss about left recursion. What is left recursion? Suppose if you have a non-terminal, if you have a non-terminal in LHS and if your RHS is of the form A tends to alpha. Right, you can say your grammar is the left recursive grammar. Right? So, whatever variable you are having in LHS, if that variable is the first symbol of your RHS, you can say the grammar is a recursive grammar. Take this rule. We have seen this rule many times. C plus B. Right? Is it a left recursive grammar? Yes. Because what is the uh, variable in LHS? Capital E. This capital E is the first symbol of your RHS. Right? So, your grammar is left recursive grammar. What about this one? E tends to E star E. Again, this is a left recursive grammar. Your LHS variable is capital E, which is the first symbol of your RHS. Right? So, this part is your alpha part. That's what I told. Right? If your grammar is of the form A tends to A alpha. Right? So your grammar is a left recursive grammar. So how to eliminate this left recursion we can see in this video. Right? How to eliminate left recursion. Suppose if your grammar is of the form A tends to A alpha 1. Right? A alpha 2 up to A alpha n, right? B1, B, sorry, beta 1, beta 2 up to beta n, right? So, what do you understand from this? This part is your left recursive part, right? So, the LHS is capital A, all the grammar, the first symbol is capital A, capital A, capital A. The next part is the grammar without left recursion. If you have your grammar of the form, right, how to eliminate this? You can write A tends to this without part you can write beta i and a dash. Next you have to write what can be this a dash. A dash tends to this alpha you can write together I write this alpha i alpha i a dash or this epsilon. This is how I am going to eliminate my left recursion. Right, you can remember this formula. Uh, formula. If your grammar has left recursion, apply this and you can eliminate your left recursion. First write the uh, portion without left recursion and you can give a new name for this uh, variable a dash, then you are supposed to write what is a dash, write this alpha part a dash and you can include your epsilon production. Right, we can see an example. Look at this example. You have to eliminate the left recursion from the following grammar. Three grammars is given, that is three rules is given. You have to eliminate the um, left recursion from the given grammars. Check the first one. Is it having left recursion? Yes. Right. E, um, e is the variable in LHS. Right. RHS, the first symbol is here E. Here T is the variable in LHS. In RHS, the first symbol is T. But what about this F? F is a variable in LHS. But in RHS, the first symbol is um, open parenthesis. Right. Open parenthesis. So, the third grammar is not left recursive grammar. Third grammar is not left recursive grammar. So the first two I have to uh, remove the left recursion. Right? I uh, hope you remember the formula. What is that formula? A tends to A alpha 1, A alpha 2 up to A alpha L and beta 1, beta 2 up to beta L. How to write that um, formula? A tends to beta part first, beta i, a dash. Then you have to write what is a dash, alpha i, 
ए डैश और एक्स नॉ राइट सो आई टेक एंड राइट माय फर्स्ट ग्रामर ई टेंस टू ई प्लस टी राइट टी एस आई टोल योर ग्रामर मे और मे नॉट हैव लेफ्ट रिकर्सिव पार्ट एंड दी पार्ट विदाउट लेफ्ट रिकर्सिव राइट सो इफ यू सी दिस आई हैव टू rules the first rule has left recursion but the second rule does not have left recursion second rule does not have left recursion so can i write if this is your a this is again a that's what it is left recursion and this part is your alpha part and this part is your beta part hope i am clear right so what is your a here a is e And what is your alpha? It is plus t. And what is your beta? It is t. Right. Now substitute in the formula. Right. What is my a? It is e tends to. What is my beta? T. Right. Then a dash. If a is equal to e, what about a dash? It is e dash. Now what is e dash? Tends to alpha. What is my alpha? Plus t, plus t, e dash. That is e dash, or it is epsilon. Right? See the second rule. We can see what is the second rule? T tends to t star f and f. Right? So this is my a. Right? I write like this. This is your a. This is again a. What about this part? It is alpha part. What about this part? It is beta part. Right now, this part is your beta part. Now substitute in the formula. A tends to beta i a dash. A tends to so t tends to what is my beta f hmm? and t dash. A tends to beta A dash. T tends to your beta part is F, so T dash. Now write what is T dash. T dash tends to alpha i. What is my alpha? Star F. Right? Ah, star F and A dash. What is your A dash? A is T, so A dash will be T dash tends to epsilon. Right? So your final grammar. G is equal to B T P S, right? G is equal to B T P S. What are the variables? E E dash T T dash F. And here, yeah, that's it. Right? What are the terminals? It is plus star. Open parenthesis, close parenthesis, I. Hope I didn't miss anything, right? And what are? Okay, board is not visible. I write here. What are the uh, rules? What are the predictions? Right. First, you write this prediction. E tends to T E dash. Next, E dash tends to plus T E dash or it's not. Then write these two rules. T tends to F T dash. T dash tends to Star F T dash or it's not, and the last two, which doesn't have any left recursion, E or I. Right? Which is your star symbol? E is the star symbol. E is the star symbol. Right? Hope it is clear. We we can see one more example. Yes, students. We will see this example. Uh, eliminate left recursion from the following grammar. Two grammars are given. We have to first check whether this has left recursion. If it has left recursion, we have to eliminate it. Right. Uh, check the first one. Yes, tends to A B or A. Uh, when you see this, you can uh, just uh, tell it doesn't have left recursion because what what we have learned is the LHS variable is the first symbol of your RHS. Then the grammar is the left recursive grammar. Right? Check the second one. A tends to 
A B. So this grammar is electrical signal. Capital E is the first symbol of your RHS. So uh, the A grammar is your recursive grammar, left recursive grammar. But you take the first grammar, S tends to A B. Uh, it has two rules, right? So I take this rule alone and substitute uh, for this A. If you substitute this production, right now, when you substitute this production, what you get? S A B. Right? What is it? Now check whether it has left recursion. It has left recursion. So second production is directly by seeing. I can see it is a uh, left recursive grammar. But A production, sorry, yes, the first production, yes production is a indirect left recursive grammar. When you do the substitution, you can find it as a left recursion. It is an indirect left recursive grammar. It is an indirect left recursive grammar. So what I am doing is like uh, substitute, right, uh, substitute for Yes, in the second production. That which production it is? A production. A rule. Right now. So for this yes, I am going to do substitution. For yes, how many rules? I am having two rules. So substitute both. So what you get? A tends to A. Let it be this. For this yes, A. When you substitute uh, for yes, this production, what you get? You will get this AB or when you substitute this A, what you get? AB, there is an A. For this, yes, if you substitute the second rule, what you get? You will get A. I will repeat what am I doing to avoid this indirect left recursion. In the second rule, for this yes, I am doing substitution. And you know, when you check the first rule, yes has two productions. So one by one, I substitute both, I find the answer. Right, so A tends to yes, C I have written. For this yes, first substitute this A B. For this yes, substitute A B. So A B, here you have an A already, that A. First rule you have substituted. Then for the same yes A, substitute the second rule. Right? So A for this yes, you have substituted the second rule, you got A, and one more A is here, that's how you got 2A. Now your second rule becomes your A production becomes A production becomes Right. Instead of this yes A, I got this two. Right. So A tends to A B. Instead of this yes A, I have two new rules. A B A or A A. Right. So your second production becomes like this. Now what is your first production? Yes tends to A B or A. And the second production is A tends to A B or A B A or A A or A A. Now you check, is there any indirect left recursion? I don't have yes here, right? So I don't have any indirect left recursion. Right? So this yes production is this free now, clear now. But what about the A production? A production has left recursion. A, A. First symbol is capital A. It is a left recursive grammar. Second also, A, A. It is a left recursive grammar. Right now. So now we have to eliminate the left recursion from this uh, second production. Right. So you know the formula. What is that formula? A tends to beta i A dash. What is A dash? A dash tends to alpha i a dash or epsilon. Alpha A, a dash or epsilon. Right? So here A uh, before that I write here A A. What is alpha? This 
B here alpha. What about this part? It is beta part. It doesn't have any left recursion. The portion without left recursion is your beta part. So beta. So this is A alpha. A alpha. If you want alpha one, this is A alpha two. Right? Yeah. So how will you write this? A tends to. Here also you have A. No problem. Beta part. What is your beta part? A A. A dash. What is A dash? A dash tends to. What is my first alpha? B. Right? Yeah. Alpha A dash. So alpha alpha is your B. A dash. You have how many alpha? Two alphas you have. Second you write. Second alpha is B A. A dash or it should be an epsilon according to the formula. Right? Yeah. So this is your final answer. Right? Yeah. So how will you write your grammar? G is equal to B T P S. Write all the variables. Write all the terminals. And what are the productions? Productions. Yes, you will write as it is. Yes tends to A B or A. But what about this A production? A production after removing left recursion, it becomes these two productions, right? Yeah. So A tends to A A A dash, and A dash tends to B A dash B A A dash, or it is epsilon, right? Yeah. Which is your star symbol? Yes, this star symbol. Right. Two examples we have seen. First one example, okay, um, direct left recursion. In second example, we have seen indirect left recursion. If you have indirect left recursion, uh, first eliminate that indirect left recursion by doing substitution, and then you can eliminate your left recursion. Right. <coughs> Thank you.